We've uh, held for uh, the past seven years to honor the what best in Central Illinois pro wrestling. Yes. And being that I'm here in LaFell, uh, last year you probably know that uh, Dreamwave Wrestling picked up a Federation of the Year award. I guess, Winter Storm Titan. Wrestling oh, yes. <laughs> for the past five years has uh, revitalized the pro wrestling scene in LaSalle, Illinois. Has the best roster. They currently have five out of the seven, or five out of the, yes, the five out of the seven previous uh, wrestlers of the year. You know, you've got this talent here in LaSalle, Peru. Go on with it. Best uh, cards, best crowds, loudest crowds. And for Dreamwave to continue to win Federation of the Year, maybe uh, how can they grow some more? Will they hit a, will they go to a venue that can hold a thousand people twice this one? Could they be holding two shows a month? Or possibly, could Dreamwave run an event at the Illinois State Fair? for the third time in its history, the Federation of the Year Central Illinois Promotion of the Year Award. Drama, all the attitude, all the action of Zero One USA Supreme comes to Champagne every Thursday at the Fluid Event Center. Zero One Thursday Night Throwdown every Thursday at seven at the Fluid Event Center. the Diamond and the Rough Award. This is the hardest award to explain. Uh, it's kind of an all-encompassing award where uh, it could go to the uh, hottest new rookie, it could be the uh, most improved wrestler, it could be um, the best wrestler you've never heard of, 
or the person with the most potential to be a major player in the Central Illinois scene for the coming year. And we have five nominees, and they are...
And the winner of the Diamond in the Rough for the seventh annual NBS Awards goes to Jordan Grace. Come on in here. Ooh, yeah, for me. Okay. My lord, you've done quite a bit in your uh, first year here in uh, the Midwest, and remarkably, you've done all this at age 17. Yes, I have. I'm about to turn 18 next week, though. <laughs> How how are you able to uh, accomplish all that you've done in your uh, at age seventeen? Well, honestly, it's really just about getting your name out there and making sure people know who you are, and you have to do all the right things and just basically be an all-around presenter, entertainer, and athlete. And I think that is why I got this award because I'm all those things. Now, what is uh, age eighteen going to look like for Jordan Grace? Um, I think. You know, I'll finally be legal, so there will be a lot more, um, you know, attempts, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But um, I think it'll be a lot better because I can finally wrestle for AAW, where I've been valeting in Chicago for the past couple months, and they've been waiting till I'm 18 to let me wrestle, so that's going to be really good. They're going to be on Roku TV, too, so I'll get to be on TV. Oh, well, you're on TV locally in uh, Central Illinois. All right, Jordan. Thank you very much. Thank you so Good much. Luck. I really appreciate it. You're you're riding a rocket, so uh, we'll expect a lot of great things from you for this coming year. And now an update on title changes from around the Central Illinois region. Matt Cage won the Dreamwave Heavyweight title over Christian Rose on August the 2nd, but not without a lot of interference. That's all. Chris Castro, Nikki Mayday, Waylon Beck, JC Castilli, and Nick Brubaker all get involved, making this title win horribly dirty. However, these two had to team up the next day as they fought unsuccessfully the Hooligans in a three stages of hell match where the Cutter Brothers became the first high-risk wrestling tag champions in Belleville, Illinois. The Hooligans lost the JCW tag titles back to the ring riders at Bloody Mania 8 in Ohio. ACH also won the high risk wrestling single style in a triple threat series over Blake Steele and Nick Brubaker. Central Illinois Hall of Famer Apocalypse is your new Sky Pro champion after beating Corbin Blaze for the belt on July the 27th. And lastly, the makeshift team of Ricky Cruz and Brandon Espinosa are your new Dynamo Pro Tag Team Champions, winning them in a four-way over the prior champs, the Bum Rush Brothers. And that's your roundup of recent title changes this week. Are you a fair or festival organizer? If you're thinking of adding professional wrestling to your event, it takes more than just a $5,000 ring. It takes credible talent with years of training, skill, and experience. It takes quality production values. It takes credible promoters with knowledge of the independent scene, the resources to set up entertaining cars, and how to get fans in the door. Bring in just anyone without vetting their credentials, you could end up with an embarrassing disaster. The so-called talent may have no training, no ring gear, aren't family friendly, and some may even have a lengthy rap sheet. 
If you want live professional wrestling at your fair or festival, don't get burned. Check their credentials before you book. A public service announcement from the Nosebleed Seats. You can contact us on Facebook for more information. Central Illinois Pro Wrestling. Next up on the MBS Awards, the Manager of the Year. And this represents the manager or valet that uh, best represents his or her clients. And, you know, managers, they're either a mouthpieces for the wrestlers, they interfere on the wrestler's behalf, and a lot of times they end up being the fall guy for the wrestler's behalf. And the nominees are... Ladies and gentlemen, I know that I haven't said a whole lot in a long time. For the better part of last year, I was tied up. I was busy. But you know what? This is a brand new year. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm a little bit pissed off. See, Kristen Rose, I'm not here to downplay anything that you've accomplished thus far in Dreamwave Wrestling. And I'm not here to undermine any opponent that you may have walked through. But I am here to remind you of a couple of facts. You see, Rose, I've been watching you. I've been watching you climb that Dreamwave ladder of success, rung by rung by rung, which is no easy feat. I've been there. But you'd be lying to me if you said that with every rung of that ladder that you climb, that it doesn't get just a little bit colder, and maybe a little bit windier, and a hell of a lot lonelier. See, Rose, I've been in show business for a long, long time. You can ask anybody from Nick Brubaker to Jason Hades, Marche Rocket, myself, we can all tell you that it's a lot easier to climb that ladder when you got nowhere to go but up and when you got nothing to lose.
I'm black. Who's white? No, idiot. He is wearing wrestling gear. You are in your jeans. Come on. I have. What my, is this? I have my wrestling gear. You have your wrestling gear. The difference is, is you ain't got it on. You got your street clothes on. I got my go clothes on. I'm ready to kick some tail. Why well, it looks like you're ready to sit on your tail. Mm -hmm. Now, if you could just pick it up to my level tonight. Just pick it up. Pick it up. Pick. Don't, don't be, come on, get serious. Sorry, you're right. Not like pick it up. Pick up your level, pick yep. up the intensity. Let's bring home some gold for this family. Yep. The misfits, right, right, Dickie? Exactly. Why do you tell him? Because I don't know if he's aware. Oh, I think he's aware, but I don't think, I think that you thought I was joking when I told you that this is your last chance. Because if we lose this tonight, if you lose this, you're done. You're out of the talent agency, comrade. This is your last chance. Now or never. Wait, wait a minute, like you were serious. I'm dead serious. I thought you were joking. Nope, I'm dead serious. Is that why you didn't that, That's exactly why I didn't. But, no, no, no. Forget about that. Let's go get ready. Let's go win some tag titles. Let's go. Come on. Let's stay to the ring. Get ready. I can't believe that's not why you asked my test. Step up your game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, Nikki Mayday. I, Nikki Mayday. Take you, Bucky Collins. Take you. Bucky Collins. To be my wedded wife. <laughs> I told you this was my first time. Um, um, um. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. And to keep my beer cold. And to keep my beer cold. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. Hungover or drunk. Hungover or drunk. To love and cherish. To love and cherish. From this day forward. From this day forward. Well, or until you hit Bucky in the head with a frying pan. And the winner of the 2014 Manager Valet of the Year Award goes to a man who has retired from managing, actually. The great Ryland Fox. Come on in here, Ryland. Five years in the, as a manager in yeah. the professional wrestling business, and you chose to walk away. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I was given a, a great opportunity by Jay Repsol in uh, 2009. Uh, met some great people, uh, you know, some brothers and sisters for life, and uh, many of which are nominated in this category. And I uh, just want to thank everybody. Uh, it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun, a great ride, a lot of, a lot of drinks, uh, a lot of parties, and uh, a lot of lifelong uh, friendships and memories that I'll be able to take with me, uh, you know, from this day forward. Uh, and that, I think, is, you know, bigger than all of this. So, uh, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate the work and, uh, you know, things like this to, to show for it. And you're a professional singer? Yes, yes. And you play in the band, or what is the name of your band? Well, you know, I, I've been in numerous bands over the years. Now I'm kind of doing, like, the solo thing and uh, trying to get back to where I was prior to the wrestling business, which was, you know, music full-time. And I got a lot of irons in the fire, so to speak, and... Uh, yeah, just going back to music, just going on another adventure, just like uh, this was for me. You know, hopefully, it can match uh, what wrestling's given me. Where can we buy your record albums? Because I know you have yeah. a few out there. Yeah, you know, really anywhere. Uh, fortunately, uh, with the digital age, I've uh, provided you know my music be available on iTunes, Amazon. You can listen uh, on Spotify, uh, all over the place. You know, I can't really think of anywhere where it's not. Uh, available like any like major retail uh, digital retailers out there, but yeah, that would be great if uh, you know you can go download my tunes and let me know what you think. Maybe someday we'll hear you on uh, sure. America's Top Forty. Sure, sure, that'd be great. Love to be in the top forty, man. All right, Ryland, thank yeah, you very thank much. You. But this will do for now. Congratulations. Thanks, buddy. We'll see you in a couple of months. All right. <coughs>
All the drama, all the attitude, all the action of 01 USA Supreme comes to Champagne every Thursday at the Fluid Event Center. 01 Thursday Night Throwdown every Thursday at 7 at the Fluid Event Center.